Next, we'll talk about area. And sometimes people have trouble with the concept of area. What is area? So I, th I think it's easier to understand if you put it in terms of something you're familiar with. So think about two tables, and the area of the tabletop would be the amount of surface on the tabletop. So a good way to think about that is if you wanted to paint the top of the table, how much paint would be required to cover the surface. And clearly the small table here has less area than the larger table. The larger table has more area. There's more surface to cover if you paint it. Now multiplication becomes useful when we're calculating areas. So take a look at these squares. These aren't drawn actual size, of course. But if this distance, that width right there, were one inch, and we abbreviate inch as in, and the, um, the other dimension here also, that distance, were one inch. And we can make that a little more clear just by writing that without all the lines. One inch by one inch, then this much area would be what we call one square inch, or one inch squared, like that. And if this distance were one foot, and this distance were one foot, so this square is one foot on each side, then this much area, the total area here, would be one square foot, which we write as one foot squared. And area is typically measured in some unit of length squared, like inches squared or feet squared, or square meters or square miles. In the, um, in the metric system, we would use meters or centimeters. And in the English system, we might use inches or feet or yards or miles. A kilometer would be a metric unit of length, so kilometers squared would be an area. And different units are appropriate for different things. If you're measuring the area of a piece of paper, it might be in square inches. If you're measuring some fabric, something a little bit larger, it might be in square yards. If you're measuring the uh, a city, for example, or a lake, something really big, you might use square kilometers or square miles. Now think about a tabletop that's rectangular, and suppose it's two feet wide and four feet long. And here some lines are drawn on it, so you see it's divided into square feet, and you can count them. And it's pretty, pretty easy to see that there are eight. And you can get the same answer by multiplying. We could say two feet times four feet equals eight. I get the two times the four to give me an eight. And then I still have this foot times a foot, and that gives me a foot squared, eight square feet. Each of these squares is a square foot. We're pretending like each square is one foot on one side and one foot on the other. So that much area is a square foot. And we have eight of those, so we have eight square feet. And here's an example. A driveway is 12 feet wide and 70 feet long. What is the area? Well, we multiply 12 times 70. Put our zero there. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 1 is 7. And we add the 1 up there, and we get an 8. So 840. Now note that this was 12 feet times 70 feet, and those feet have to be multiplied 2, and we get square feet for the answer. So that's the area of the driveway is 840 square feet. And in general, the area of a rectangular region can be found with this formula. The area is the length times the width. But instead of writing out all of those words, we can say the same thing a lot more concisely using variables. A for area, L for W, I mean L for length, and W for width. Area is length times width. And if the rectangle that we're looking at happens to be a square, okay, a square has the same length as it does width. So the length of a side we'll just call S. So both sides would be S. It's length or width s and length s. So the area for a square just ends up being s times s. Think s for side, the length of one side. 
So you could write this as area is equal to s squared. The area of a rectangle is length times the width, and the area of a square is the length of a side squared. Those are formulas you're probably already familiar with. Those are formulas you should know and should understand and be able to use because we're going to be using them uh, in the next, next pages.